obviously this has been all over the timeline for the past 24 hours the the you know marital um or, you know yeah, marital whatever you may call it the relationship drama that's been going on with the baby and danny lay and um yeah i don't really have much to say about it again it's women's business it's not really my place to speak on it at all but it is actually interesting to just see the amount of energy people are putting into kind of deciphering who's right who's wrong morally posturing about stuff inserting themselves in the situation making it about themselves all this sort of nonsense that's existing when you think about it especially especially considering what we've been through the last 18 months and so you'd think people's time would be more allotted to things that actually matter or you'd think the time would be more used for things that could actually be constructive to their long-term goals and success and i think to myself even from myself on the some of the topics i talk about and things i get really geeky about or the stuff that i cover on my show in general whether or not my time could be used you know could be used better right could could i could i use could i could i not use my time in a more useful way to kind of get myself to where i need to get to it's actually going to make some real change it's actually going to affect me in a better way and it's actually going to allow me to get closer to my goals and whatnot i want to do and i definitely do and i generally do think a lot more people could kind of um could kind of use um, this opportunity to maybe reflect more on how they're kind of spending their time because i'm seeing a lot of people kind of pontificating arguing with strangers online in comments about people that they don't know they're never going to meet they aren't their family members um, people who they probably are doing worse than in life in general when it comes to relationships again not talking about monetary all that sort of stuff i don't really get it again i understand in some on one aspect of it because they're celebrities and it's now been internet business right social media business like once you put your business out there on social media people are allowed to comment on it and say so whatever they want to say so you know if they didn't want to cause a drama if they didn't want people inside their business don't go on live and start talking about stuff that you want to talk about but i don't know man i just think being overly invested in celebrities lives in this way and kind of you know um, using this opportunity to share your opinions and your standpoints and where you kind of view things and how you would approach relationship is just a bit null and void because wherever they are at in terms of their lives and in terms of their level of celebrity especially when it comes to nouveau riche kind of celebrities right guys and girls who have kind of come into money only through music right in the last what few years i can't imagine how difficult that is to be navigate in this world that we live in now right especially with social media like growing up it's like we've always said it right people have always kind of hypothesized or thought to themselves i wonder how people like prince and people like michael jackson would have basically maneuvered or acted or people like tupac right if they were around nowadays with social media like how would they or if when they were coming up social media existed like how would that have impacted their success how would that have impacted how they were perceived because a lot of it has to do with social media because you know you only have to look at some of the comments Danny Lay made throughout the entire process of this argument she's having with the baby there was a lot of mention about the internet and social media and what people think and all this sort of stuff and a lot of her life decisions and you know career choices and relationship choices have been pred predicated or influenced in some conscious or subconscious way by what people have said on the internet which is absolutely nuts to think about but again it's not surprising because essentially if your entire career is um a rat if your entire career is centered around the approval or the kind of you know yeah the approval um of people and strangers online in order to kind of make a career you kind of have to be sentient and aware of what they're talking about right you kind of can't really unplug and pretend that you don't listen or watch the stuff you have to kind of be aware of it because essentially those guys and girls are the ones that are being able to put clothes on your back and keep a roof over your head and obviously food in your kid's stomach and shit but to a certain extent it also is incredibly destructive because when stuff goes wrong everyone now thinks that they have save the right but they have some sort of place to kind of tell you how you should go about living your life which is kind of insane and again like i said i just think people's time could be best used trying to do people's time and effort could be best placed trying to improve whatever situation they're in and those are you know those kind of nearest and dearest to them as opposed to kind of you know um armchair psychoanalyzing people that you're never gonna meet it just it just screams weirdness to me it just screams lameness i could never get behind that sort of stuff and again i think for the women it makes complete sense women gossip it is what they do but i think when it comes to dudes and shit it just feels odd to see guys talking about so especially straight dudes you know you know we're full of shit 
you know we're we're full of shit. You know we have the capacity to be just as bad as the baby, right? Or whatever it may be. Or who knows who's bad, who's wrong. We don't know. Because again, not my business and there's too much layers into it. When it comes to relationship, I don't get involved in that sort of stuff. But in general, we have the capacity to do exactly the same, if not worse. So to come out here and start pointing fingers and acting as the moral arbiter or as some sort of, you know, um, virtue signaling about the stuff that you don't do and how you stand for in an effort to kind of, you know, get girls on your side. It's just lame. It's just absolutely lame.